Yeah, this Maximus here. I did title this the Harbor Freight Pocket Reference. It's not a Harbor Freight publication, but it's been one of the odd things that they actually still sell today and they've actually sold for a number of years. This is a Thomas J. Glover Pocket Reference. And this is a kind of a universal reference. And I see why they sell it because it comes with a variety of information such as bolt strengths and different prints on them or this section back here where it's pressure loss due to friction in a hundred feet of water hose and it has some more miscellaneous information maybe area codes uh, it has information about wire rope uh, propane tank sizes various things about steel pipe uh, mathematics it has you know some area code uh, references some other you know planetary data country codes some odd stuff uh, I mean military ranks but then paper sizes, all sorts of, like here, there's battery size reference charts, uh, electric motor, just basic reference charts, voltage drop uh, versus wire size at different loads, uh, the difference between copper and aluminum wire, element tables, references for stud and joist. It's just a pretty valuable reference, it has a pretty decent index to tell you the truth, and I still kind of like books like this, you know, obviously all this stuff can be looked up on the internet, but what's hard is trying to just find a nice chart and then have it handy with you when it's just in a physical publication. You can open it up, have it there when you're working. It's not like on your phone or something. It's all printed there right in front of your face. You know, here's tap and die charts. It's really surprising how much stuff, uh, air hose friction, which is actually a surprisingly useful chart. I mean, this is a great example. What's telling you is if you have some huge, like, impact wrench that's using 20 or 30 uh, cubic feet a minute, and it tells you at 90 PSI, say at 30 cubic, which is a huge amount of air that would run just about anything, you're going to lose a couple PSI just through the resistance of the hose itself. And then, of course, uh, through 100 feet of hose. And that's just through 50 feet of hose. So it just gives you an idea of how much you might have to overpressure. Here's another great chart just telling you, like, if you have a half-inch garden hose at only 10 PSI, you're going to be moving less than three gallons a minute. So this little book is actually handy just because it has so many different little references in there to a lot of things that are actually kind of everyday items that once you know you have a reference, there are, uh, it's actually something that you would go to. I mean, just that flow rate one, I mean, you can have a pump. But then you can take the flow rate of the pump and then, you know, the amount of hose that it has to go through. And say you're filling a, you know, a pond or uh, a little something like that. You know how much water you may need to put in there. And then it'll give you an idea of uh, how long it might take. So I think it's cool that Harbor Freight's still selling this. These types of references really are getting uh, further and further uh, from use, is what I should say. They used to be a much more common, but... Uh, people these days just really rely on the internet, but it's actually really nice when it's a lot of that most common stuff uh, that's used in trades and industrially and that type of stuff is all in just one book. Just some nice reference from tap and die charts to how to tie knots. It's actually something that's pretty applicable to at least a large portion of my subscribers. At least I'd hope so. So anyway, that was my little review of the Thomas J. Glover pocket reference that is sold at Harbor Freight. And just wanted to share this with you all. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.